What's up guys, welcome to Code Wizard, and today we're going to be talking about the top five extensions in VS Code. Now these extensions are in no particular order, but they're the ones I've found to be the most helpful over the years. So the first extension is called Prettier, and Prettier is simply a code formatter that will automatically format your code when you save a file. So you can see here I have this file called prettier.js, which is a poorly formatted JavaScript file. And when I go ahead and save this file, you can see that Prettier automatically reformats this code so it's not incorrectly formatted. So when you go ahead and search for Prettier, it should be called Prettier-CodeFormatter, and it should have nearly 10 million downloads at the time of this recording. So highly recommend that you install Prettier so you don't have to worry about formatting your code. Now the next extension I recommend is called Auto Rename Tag. And this can be helpful when it comes to HTML files. So what auto rename tag does is you can see here I have this uh, H3 tag. And if I want to change this to an H4, I can go ahead and change it like this. And you can see that auto rename tag automatically changed the, the uh, closing tag to an H4 as well. Uh, normally in VS Code without the auto rename tag extension, if you wanted to change uh, a tag, you would actually have to change both the opening and closing tag, which can be quite a headache if you're working with uh, a big HTML file and you want to make a large change. Um, but with auto rename tag, it will automatically change the closing tag for you as well. So highly recommend that you install the auto rename tag extension. The next extension I want to talk about is called material icon theme. And what Material Icon Theme does is basically will put a little icon next to the files here in the File Explorer, depending on the extension. So you can see here in the File Explorer, I got two JavaScript files and an HTML5 file. Um, and those are from the courtesy of this Material Icon Theme extension. And this might not be you know, super helpful to you, but one thing to keep in mind is it does help when it comes to um, projects that have like a big file structure and you're trying to narrow down what specific file you're looking for uh, because you can just simply look at the, uh, the icon instead of looking at the extension to figure out what kind of file it is. So I definitely do recommend you get material icon theme. The next extension is called bracket pair colorizer and I have this JavaScript file here with a function called a nothing function and it has three nested loops and you can see here I got my curly braces different colors and this is from the courtesy of the bracket pair colorizer extension and this is very helpful when it comes to trying to figure out what loop you're in you know if you have a lot of nested uh, functions and nested loops sometimes it can be confusing to uh, as far as like figuring out what uh, piece of code that you're actually in. So you can see here if I click inside the the innermost for loop it actually will highlight the entire for loop snippet and I know that I'm in the innermost for loop because of the purple uh, curly brace. If I want to go to this mid-level for loop I can click here again it highlights the code snippet in yellow and we also have the yellow curly brace. So when you're working with uh, a lot of nested code uh, you know, the bracket pair colorizer extension can be extremely helpful. All right. And then the last um, extension I highly recommend is called Live Server. Now, what Live Server does is it will launch a local uh, development server uh, with live reload feature. So what that means is you can see here in the example, if you have an HTML file and you make a change and you save it, it will actually automatically update in your live server. So here, going back to the index.html file, all right, all I have to do is click this little button down here called go live, and it will launch the server into my browser. You can see here it says auto rename tag. Now, if I wanna change this to just like auto rename and hit save, Going back, you can see that it automatically updated it here. Normally, without a live server, you would actually have to refresh your browser, but with the live server extension, you don't have to do that. You can uh, make the change, save the file, and it will automatically update. And this is extremely helpful when you're trying to build a, um, 
a project, uh, you know, if you're working with HTML and you're making a bunch of changes and you want to see those changes immediately take effect, the live server extension can be uh, very helpful. So those are the top extensions I recommend. If you have another extension in mind that you like, go ahead and leave um, the name of that extension in the comments down below. Uh, and of course, always like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.